द सुप्रीम यस मदर इट इज ही हु इन इज ट्रांसिडेंस अपहोल्ड द यूनिवर्स and is immanent in the creation who resides in the smallest atom one who is responsible for the terrestrial evolution and its manifestation for lifting it up to the light and ananda but i cannot proclaim to the people that i am the supreme people will not able to accept it she has the supreme how can that be it is not possible for them the supreme is someone who is unimaginable i do not know if for them he is without form or that which cannot be attained they will go mad if they think in this way the ego will not able to accept it yes mother well you know i will tell you something in those days when i used to give special blessings for the puja durga maha saraswati etc at that time durga and the others used to come to me besides they used to meet me from time to time they came by turns and even now they come for some work or the other and i do not know if it was last year or the year before moreover time has no importance for me in fact there is not much difference since i have stopped giving blessings for the pujas anyway it was close to the pujas and as usual durga came to me she was so beautiful and formidable like all the other children but it was an entity which possesses the cosmic force and i told her shall there be no end to these little entities and is it not time to turn towards the supreme leaving behind the little personal egos then you know what happened something marvelous and unexpected in a humble gesture full of gratefulness she abandoned everything to the supreme in such a joyous and spontaneous atmosphere which cannot be expressed in words but has to be lived to be seen and she told me yes i am thine completely what thou willest i shall do i give myself to you and she prostrated herself at my feet it was a complete surrender there was no hesitation it was so beautiful it is since then that i have stopped the blessings for the pujas because it is no longer necessary it is over once and for all ho oh, in such a fine act such a charming gesture it is only to the lord that we send our adoration and gratitude the supreme alone and nothing else that chapter is over the reign of the cosmic gods now only the supreme exists for us nothing else and there was another meeting earlier that was a long time back it was when i used to visit the playground one day durga had come and i asked her a similar question how long do you want allegiance from the people 
isn't it time to we adored the supreme then she told me gently i do want to i am thine but you see the people cling to me and do not want to leave me they are like that that which goes to aggrandize their egos that which still wants to follow the past and the little bit which satisfies them that they will never abandon even for the supreme it is man who does not want to change because he does not want to lose his possessions and his ego it is man who creates the distinction you see truly she wanted to work for me in an act of surrender but she was completely tied up by the people who adored her and sent their prayers for their personal gains and nothing more men do not want to give up as they do not want to lose their support and their egos satisfaction they cling and obstruct the way but from this beautiful experience something emerged i could get some work done in collaboration with her it was the new year prayer which i had written the prayer that nature will collaborate and so on you know it yes yes mother it was in this way that slowly she could abandon herself completely and now we have no need of these pujas she has become one with the supreme and it is the supreme alone whom we adore now she has entered into me you understand yes mother but there is still the resistance in other countries and in the religious entities which i am trying to transform but here it is finished but no one will understand what it means exactly they will twist and deform it because it is beyond their conceptions they cannot imagine such an event that gods could surrender to me it is something unimaginable for them it's all right my child for you i am still the supreme so we just now we heard through the words of the divine mother how the pujas and how the adoration completely transformed in a different way and in a new way so this is what shri arbindo wants to emphasize that who is the mother beyond the four manifestation she is comes from unmanifested plane it's a mystery so we again listen what mother herself talks about this portion of her you do not know what a favor i am doing to you all you have no idea that the whole world the entire universe bows down to me imploring me in an act of adoration to serve me you do not know who i am who has descended in the ignorance among you who has consented to be human to take up a physical body among you all you have no idea of who is there before you well even the gods whom you revere so much perform tapasya in order to have a glimpse of me it is for me and through me that the whole universe exists and it vibrates in my consciousness it is through me that all living beings and inanimate things and all that you see in the manifestation acts 
and progresses. There is nothing that is not within me. I am the cause. It is in me that all things disappear. Everything, everything is expressed in me and aspires to take refuge in me. Those who know me a little give their entire lives to find me. I am above the whole manifestation. But mother, by your descent, the things will be done in a flash. I have read that you help the creation to advance by formidable leaps. Things can descend like a thunderbolt. Yes, my presence helps to advance the process. I hasten the descent. But it does not mean that all this will be done in a day. It is not possible that overnight all this is transformed, supramentalized by a miracle. It is not possible. Because of me, the things are done a bit faster. I only give an impetus. But it is he who does all. I help a little in his work. It is because of me that the new world is born. I have compressed the work of many centuries. I help a bit. I also follow a determined curve. I can hasten the descent following the curve. But I cannot jump to the highest consciousness to bring it down on earth. It is not possible because the earth is not ready and if it descends, then it will crush everything by its pressure. If it's so formidable, that is why I prepare the base here below and bring down what is necessary, not more. Even this the earth cannot contain. Even this the earth cannot contain. Now we are going to see Mother talks about He, the He whom she refers with our dear Lord. So what she talks about the work she has taken and what she has done for the humanity and for the the highest power. Mother, you had also told me last time that for the transformation of the body, you had asked Sri Aurobindo how much time it takes for the transformation. Then he had answered, It takes about 300 years. But mother, now that supramental has descended, will the transformation not be hastened? Hastened? Yes, will it not take less time than before? It's not my lookout to know it will take 300 years or not. And moreover, I am not curious. I do what I have to do. It does not interest me to know what is going to happen or how long it takes, or what will happen in this body. But, Mother, you, you are the Supreme. Then what are you saying? Yes, me, I am the Supreme. But the Supreme is definitely not this body, which is completely different. You will not understand. I am the Mahashakti, who animates everything. And who is behind all things. But now I have abandoned all to the Lord. It is the Lord who does everything now. 
have left everything in his hands the maha shakti has no separate will from the lord and what is going to happen does not bother me nor how much time it will take i do as best as possible what he has assigned me to do and the time has no importance moreover time it is man who has invented it it is from man's point of view the time has no importance not for the lord the earth it is very very old for man it dates back thousands of years but for the lord it is not at all like that that is why i am completely resigned as to what may come it does not touch me i have given all responsibility to him men and nature have utilized the elements and the atoms for their egoistic ends and have made them perverted petty and mean you know well the terrifying power which resides in the atom and which men has multiplied indefinitely to kill his enemies to kill one another without considering the destruction and the imbalance created which multiplies itself endlessly without control in the terrestrial atmosphere this has created a vicious circle in which anti divine forces have utilized man have helped him to produce these destructive devices in order to have control over this kingdom where falsehood predominates so here we can make a pause and we can understand how mother and shri arbindo has taken this form and they did yoga for the earth so the supreme both mother and shri arbindo as a supreme descend into the earth and took the durga power and wants to slay the demon slay the anti divine forces and make the earth as a field of love light bliss and love again love is the source love is the the mean where one can unite with the divine and make use of the divine power against slaying all the demonic attacks to the human being so we can see the evolution how mother started the answering all the request all the aspiration of the sadhaks and the people around her and she satisfied them with all with full heartedness and then she moves slowly into the next stage in human evolution how to bring those high divine power in oneself as the civilization is making in a towards a progress towards the evolution and it is going to enter into a new world or a new consciousness so to understand the new world and the new consciousness there is something expected from each human being and the pioneers from the ashram mothers sadhaks she showed and how we have to prepare ourselves by connecting the divine and it is she who bridges the divine inside us and above us so let us see how mother and shri arbindo and shri arbindo's 
action shri arbindo shakti but let us see who is shri arbindo because again here comes a time or a query he is also a human being when people around him started to ask in questions a very few understands who they are but still some are like want to know because when you see a person next next to you you don't believe them even though they are the divine we saw that in mother's words even before you the divine distance you will not understand exactly this is how we the human humanity were in the darker period losing all its potential and innate capacities to understand the divine and to unite with the divine was completely vanquished so let us see who is shri arbindo and what mother talks about shri arbindo and how powerful and beyond the beyond our understanding who is shri arbindo let us see first of all it is not an act of gratefulness that one must express towards him but an attitude of surrender in the peaceful depths of one's heart to submit oneself at his feet mother bows her head in a gesture of humility and accept that it is he who has accomplished all this for me for indeed it is he who does everything very quietly render a word of gratitude a gesture of thankfulness towards him without forgetting the proof of his assistance then this rises directly there where the benefactor is this can take the form of a prayer like that of thankfulness like a gesture to the adorable one in the depths of one's being to the immutable truth that resides within to feel his presence to give everything to him to entrust all to him we can arrive at this when we have sub- surpassed our ego in fact without him nothing can move yes it is like that he is the mover that is why it is well to recognize the good that he does for us for always he leads us and brings us closer to the truth of our being always the very best we can conceive of always for our good even if in appearance it is the contrary without faltering he invites us to progress more he brings us into the sanctuary of truth where is found the source of peace light and ananda where the lord resides the immanent divine mother indicates the heart there in that immense cave of the inner being one must plunge into find the inner support one must descend and descend further more and more plane after plane consciousness after consciousness leaving behind all imprints and enter into the very depths to find the serene peace within this immense quietude of the being far from the exterior noise far from the anguish and the pain far from thoughts and un- and imaginations far far away 
from the waves of sensations one must enter very carefully there where the ego does not exist to feel the presence there is yet further to go still more to discover to turn the consciousness inwards where the power vibrates all powerful which accomplishes everything one must go still deeper where there is no act no impression no ego no separate self nothing but waves of joy and a vibration which is at the origin of everything like that equal and of a perfect equanimity to feel and be united in this perfect and immutable peace then to enter into that serene beatitude where the consciousness is completely identified with the central being then there there is no duality anymore no existence anymore nothing at all to be one with the spark of the immortal flame the immanent divine the unique and the one the soul that resides in us and still deeper down in this purifying flame resides shri arbindo so now we can understand where shri arbindo is residing and what work mother is going to mother is doing for us and still deeper down in this purifying flame resides shri arbindo immutable ananda all powerful the invincible the supreme lord of our existence the manifestation of the omnipresence in existence the omnipotence in his effectuations the omniscience of the supreme power manifested one who is the goal the master the beloved who is also the supreme lord when one truly calls him it is from there mother indicates the heart that shri arbindo answers it vibrates by his name with this consciousness there resounds the name of shri arbindo because his imprint is there in the very depths it is he who resides all existence lives by him it vibrates by him the whole universe vibrates by him he is there in everything vibrant and animating by his presence the delight of his name penetrates and purifies all rings and resounds everywhere in the sublime joy eternal and true with this name the existence takes on a meaning to rediscover the immanent divine hidden in everything in this whole universe to find him is the eternal game to feel him is to feel the immutable peace of perfect purity to realize him is to find the eternal joy to call him is to unlock the doors of infinity this is the power behind the name shri arbindo mother shri arbindo has always said that you you are within us yes it is true perfectly right me i am there as a presence
in the eternal flame the power that animates and initiates the action the peace that renders all sweet and peaceful the joy that overflows and sublimates the light that purifies and the vibration that sanctions shri arbindo is there as a sustaining entity and me i am there like a guide in fact it is the same identity in two one who observes the witness and the other that effectuates the shakti anyhow your gratefulness has been well accepted he has heard your prayer and i give you my blessings <laughs>